Today's video is gonna be a super fun one because I'm finally gonna introduce you to my snakes. If you follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should because I'm way more active on there, you've probably already met my snakes through my photos and my Insta story, especially the Insta story because I just spam everyone with my snakes. But I still wanted to do this introduction video because I promised you guys and I think it would be fun to give a more in-depth feature on them. So there are two videos that I did a couple of months ago, which was one, uh, a snake tour tank, all about the, like, the husbandry of my snakes, and uh, I'll link it down below. And then when I was moving my snakes, like when they were moving in, I also made a video about that. But I didn't really do like a background video or introduction kind of thing, so that's what I'm going to do now. Last year in August, I decided to get snakes. Um, I have a friend and she used to breed in snakes. And uh, at one point she had like 350 animals, so many, and just snakes, reptiles. She even has a skunk now, like a rescue skunk, so it, it's crazy. And her and her husband, the company was called Coffin Snakes. And it was just so much fun to visit them because they're just nice people, but also to, all to just pet all the animals and cuddle with them. So logically, I when I decided to get snakes, I knew it had to go get from them. They were actually going to quit with breeding snakes. So then it was even more like, oh, it's now or never, because I, I just really wanted my snakes to come from them. So I visited them. They had, uh, I think, 15 snakes for sale. And here is a snake I immediately fell in love with. His name is Snack. He used to be named Bilbo, but I named him Snack because I don't know. Because he's a he is a, such a snack. And it was funny because when I was visiting my friend and she was showing me all the ball pythons she had for sale, she was just like, "You you will love this one." And she just dropped him in my hands, and I was like, "Holy shit, he is very adorable." Because I mean, look at him. He was already from the beginning very chill, very cute, very, very funny as well. While the other ball pythons, of course, were also cute, but they were very, like very shy. One of them even tried to bite me. Yeah, Snack was just being adorable and I just fell in love right away. He is an eight-year-old male ball python and his color is called Calico. He has these white speckles and I think it's just very beautiful. His color morph isn't very rare, but I didn't really care about the rarity of like their color because I'm not gonna breed with them. I just wanted like a snake with a very just sweet personality. And that's what he is. He, he's just so sweet. He like I've had both my snakes since October and none of them even tried to bite me or shown any signs of aggression or discomfort. They are very cuddly. I mean <laughs> can I get kisses? So when I was cuddling Snack, I already just knew I wanted him because I was absolutely in love. And then my friend told me that she actually had a daughter of Snack who was originally not for sale because there was something wrong with her. And then she brought me this! This is Sleertje. Her, she used to be named Elsa, but I named her Sleertje. And she is the daughter of Snack, and she's very healthy, but she is a dwarf. She is baby size, but she's already five years old. <laughs> and females usually get um, way larger than males, and she should have been probably already larger than Snack, maybe. But she's just a tiny, tiny little girl. And that was why my friend didn't have her for sale because there's like a defect because like dwarfism isn't normal <laughs> i never heard of like a ball python being a dwarf but she is she just have, has a fast metabolism a reptile vet actually checked her and she's just healthy she's just literally a dwarf and i was like are you fucking kidding me that is the cutest fucking thing ever and she's also her personality is so sweet she is so funny and sweet, just like her dad. Oh, I love her so much. So Sleerch is um, calico as well. Let me just compare size to you. <laughs> See, Sleerch just fits in your hand and then Snack is super long and big and thick. You a thick boy. 
Look at them go. <laughs> <laughs> Both of their tanks has been uh, changed a bit Just because over time I noticed what they like and what they don't like Originally like um, they have a back wall made from like fake plants from Ikea And they both found a way to go um, behind that At first I was kind of annoyed because if they sit behind them you can't really see them But they seem to really like it They really make, made their little nest behind the wall And they didn't use their other heights anymore So I switched that up I gave Sleech a fake lock That's, uh, that's like meant to go in aquariums so It's like a lock, it looks very pre pretty It's just like a forest And she loves it because she, she just goes inside it And it's very cute and snack got like a little tree trunk kind of thing just because i thought it would be nice to give her an extra height and not just like the corner behind the back wall and both of my, both of them really use all the tiny like spots in their tank they roam around a bit but they also like to chill and they seem genuinely very happy and very content with their enclosure and whenever i take them out they just like to go explore a bit or chill behind like in my neck or just watch television with me or when I'm behind my computer and it's so cute. So some people have asked me how I get my animals to be so tame but yeah they just they already were this sweet and of course they got more um, like familiar with me and more um, comfortable with me. And like the cuddles over time but they were already like this they just have a very sweet personality and it is really about personality because just like how some cats can be more like more asshole-ish than others the same is with snakes my friend has some snakes that will already strike at you even if you walk by their enclosure and then there's these babies so it's just just gotta connect with the right snakes and i did and it's the best thing ever i love them so so much so yeah i don't even know what else to say this is sleertje and oh snack is chilling right now snack and sleertje Sweet girl, what, oh, what are they doing? Oh my god, <laughs> they're tangled. Mwah. No. So yeah, thanks for watching this, and stay tuned for maybe a third snake in the future. Ah. Bye.